On November 3rd, China's Tiangong space station received an unlikely delivery, a space oven. For the first time, Chinese astronauts could savor freshly baked chicken wings and sizzling steak 400 kilometers above Earth. At first glance, this might seem like just a kitchen appliance upgrade, but that's actually a quiet showcase of China's maturing space capabilities. For the past 25 years since the International Space Station began hosting astronauts, crews from around the world have largely subsisted on reheated, prepackaged meals. They're warm, but a far cry from a fresh baked or grilled food. In 2019, NASA did conduct an experimental cookie baking session aboard the ISS. However, that was a one-off experiment, not a regular meal prep option. And after that, the ISS has never installed a permanent oven for routine use. And that's because operating a space oven means introducing a high-intensity heat source into an enclosed, energy-constrained microgravity environment where heat doesn't behave the way it does on Earth. On Earth, with normal gravity, hot air rises and waste heat dissipates through natural convection. But in microgravity, there's no up for hot air to float toward. Heat simply accumulate around equipment like the invisible suffocating blanket. Without active cooling systems, you risk localized overheating that could damage sensitive instruments or, worse, compromise the station's structural integrity. And second, energy management. A space station's power comes primarily from solar panels, and every watt must be carefully budgeted. Life support, altitude control, communications, and scientific experiments all compete for that finite energy pool. An oven is a power-hungry, non-essential load. Operating one requires not just spare capacity, but also sophisticated load balancing systems that can redistribute power on the fly without brownouts or interruptions to critical systems. The ISS, built through international collaboration and with systems designed decades ago, has taken a conservative approach to such non-essential equipment. The risk-reward calculus, shaped by committee decisions across multiple space agencies, hasn't favored it. So what makes China's space program confident enough to install a working oven on Tiangong? Is it simply because Chinese astronauts have particularly refined pellets? Well, China does take its cuisine seriously, but there's likely a more technical explanation. In August 2025, the Tiangong Space Station conducted high-temperature materials science experiments, heating tungsten alloys to a staggering 3,100 degrees Celsius in orbit. So if you can swim across the English Channel, would you still worry about crossing an Olympic-sized pool? The modest serving of baked chicken wings is thus more than a morale booster. It's a subtle flex, a signal that China has made significant strides in both thermal management and power systems for spacecraft. Sometimes, the most meaningful advances aren't announced with fanfare. They're served on a plate, 400 kilometers above the Earth, one crispy chicken wing at a time.